Her shop in Kensington was like born out of just a necessity for me to work somewhere. At that point in Canadian Nouveau barbering history, there wasn't anywhere for me to work really that would allow me to put my imprint on what was going on. Roger, that owns all the Kensington vintage stores, offered me a basement that was filled to the brim with moldy clothing and a bunch of friends and I went to town and just did the best we could with 5,000 bucks and the first shop was born. I even had like a dental chair as one of the barber chairs and then it just kind of grew from there. And three chairs, four chairs, six chairs, seven chairs and then we kind of outgrew it and I moved to the place we are now. It was time to pull up my socks and turn it into a real business because there was a lot of people's livelihoods resting on that. <laughs>